What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas. And boy, do I have a cool video for you. This is the new River Ranch from Columbus. A lot of folks have been wanting me to film one of these. Brand new design, elevated floor plan, a lot of really interesting things about this unit that you might want to take a look at. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating, relatively heavy, almost 18,000 pounds. Has a cargo capacity pretty high, 4,195 pounds. Rides on twin 8,000 pound axles and G-rated 16 inch wheels and tires. So there's a lot to like about the numbers that I'm looking at here. First of all, 8,000 pound axles, G-rated tires, and again, over two tons worth of carrying capacity and a pretty heavy 18,000 pound GVWR. This thing is an absolute beast. A lot of really cool things to look at on this unit. First of all, right up front, they now have the Flex Air from Trail Air pin box. Big airbag right here. This actually rotates as well, and it kind of combines all the different best aspects that LCI pin boxes have, from the Rotaflex to their typical trail air, and really providing both of those dampening mechanisms. The dry weight on this unit is 13,745 pounds, and it has an overall length of exactly 42 feet. It does have the level up six point automatic leveling system. Up front here, you have a 30 pound propane can. You have one on each side. Here's gonna be the front part of your basement storage, which essentially runs almost front to back. Tons and tons of storage. This is very class A in design in terms of the amount of storage and how it provides it, but it actually gives you a lot more storage than most class A's because the frame doesn't actually protrude into this space. Your auto leveling controls, your thousand watt pure sine wave inverter, Coming back, coming back, you can see right here, it has the LCI one control system, which is their version of like the ASA in command, a smart system. You can control all your slides from back here and there is a power shutoff back here as well. You can see all the insulation for the ducting below. The air conditioning systems in this unit are actually below the floor. So in most cases, they're above on top of the roof but they've actually mounted the AC units down here in the basement area to allow you as much ceiling height as possible on the inside. Nice thick baggage doors. You have your water heater back here and your furnace. Back here is going to be your wet panel. All your controls here. It's winterized right now, but you have your whole house water filtration system and it is currently wired for solar up to 30 amps. Coming back, you're gonna have more storage in this area. Check that out. That is a tremendous amount of storage. And again, you have over two tons worth of storage capacity. Taking a quick look at the wheels and tires. This has the LRE 4000 suspension system, a very, very good suspension system. It essentially has about four inches worth of travel and it's dampened very, very well. Plus it has the heavy duty shackle straps and greasable wet bolts. Westlake 16 inch G-rated tires, all steel design. Back here is your air conditioning system. So you have this massive air conditioning system back here. You have an electronic cord reel, and this rides on a 12 inch I-beam frame that's been reinforced with a pretty large section there. It looks to be a two by three inch steel section that reinforces this whole bottom area. 50 amp power, of course. LED lighting across the back. This back door is actually locked. You have a two inch receiver here. There is not a trailer connection back here, so this is gonna be more for like a accessory rack. Frameless windows. It is wired for Furion wireless backup camera, and you do have a full walk-on roof. Now the roof height on this unit is gonna be a little bit taller than most full profile units, again, because the AC units were moved to the basement area. Outside speakers here. You have an LCI rack system for the 
slide, both in the back and the front. Up here you have the new Moride step above with a very, very deep top step. This is probably the deepest top step I've seen on a unit before. Again, tremendous amount of storage. Anyways guys, let's take a look inside of this really cool River Ranch 390RL from Columbus. You know, I gotta say, a lot of steps to get up into this unit. Let me pan around real quick so you can see what the interior of this unit is all about. And again, what a lot of people will like about this unit is the fact that the interior floor is completely flat. You don't have stairs going up to different sections of this unit. The ceiling height in here is also really nice. It feels to be about seven feet tall. So I think for most folks, it's more than adequate enough for taller folks. The steps again, it's quite a few steps. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps to get inside. So the height here, again, you have to step up past the elevated floor section. So the only steps really here, once you get inside are gonna be these. And it has a door that you can close off this area just so you don't accidentally fall into this space, which I know people would be concerned about. But again, you're really high up in this unit. Looking around, absolutely massive island beautifully trimmed off i like how they did the sink i just kind of wish they would have positioned the sink closer to one end that way it gives you more usable space however it's such a large island that that really doesn't matter because you have a solid three feet on each side of the sink to be able to you know put pots and pans or anything you might cook with you have your little power station right here usb 110 outlets up here you have a beautiful Samsung refrigerator complete with water and ice maker. I love the color tones. The two-tone theme has really, really taken off in the RV industry. And I love how the kitchen area right here, as well as the doors, have this darker wood tone to it, but everything else is blended between white and some of these more neutral colors. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Stepping here, you have an absolutely massive pantry complete with motion sensing lights. Tremendous amount of room inside this pantry. I absolutely love the space they give you here. Stepping back this way, the air conditioner is currently on and you can feel the air blowing up from the floor and you can just slightly hear it. It actually sounds kind of like a vent fan that you might normally see above a stove so it's that quiet it's not loud or intrusive at all in my opinion beautiful beautiful four burner range you're starting to see a lot of manufacturers move to these residential style stoves they give you these huge huge ovens this is also a very common design that you actually see in homes in europe so you're essentially getting what a lot of folks in europe get as their main stove Let's quickly take a look at the price. Has an MSRP of $109,970 and a sale price of $82,498. Pretty good value in my opinion. These Columbuses have always had really good pricing values in terms of MSRP versus sales price. You have another little power port right there. Nice drawers, has the tire pressure monitoring system as well. These are all soft closing drawers. Tons of countertop space, cabinet space and drawers. Just everywhere you look, you have storage. And I always like it when they make the cabinets much higher up here, which gives you more of an opening so you can put things inside. Check out this sink. This is really cool. It's this multi-level sink with this storage here. You have another one right here. You have this big solid surface cutting board right here. Very, very cool sink. Multi-purpose, if I've ever seen one. Stepping back. Really nice TV entertainment setup complete with a JBL subwoofer, 40 inch wide panoramic fireplace. And real quick before I forget, full Samsung residential microwave. More cabinets for storage here. If you're looking for a unit with storage, this accomplishes that task. You have your nice MCD day night roller shades. 
and you have some really interesting kind of a mesh design right here. It almost seems like these should lift up, but they don't, or this side at least, because there's only one end table over here. Nice sconces next to this nice size back window. Again, I love the color tones in here. You have your two electric reclining chairs right here. This is kind of interesting because your island is almost in front of this seat. It's not too bad because you're gonna be able to see over it. If I sit down right here, I can easily see the TV. But they gave you this massive island which kind of takes up some of this space. But again, it's not too bad. This is gonna fold out into a bed, likely a queen size bed, maybe a little larger. Very nice dinette area. They're using this really, really beautiful wood top to it. And then this flips up to extend out to give you more space. You're gonna have two more chairs up front so you can seat four people here. Again, this is a completely level floor system except for this little opening. So you're not climbing stairs just to move from the front to the back. And the ceiling heights in here, they feel as high as a tall travel trailer. So they definitely don't feel as high as a fifth wheel typically does, but they definitely still feel tall enough that you're not gonna bump your head. And again, you're probably looking at about, I'm gonna say seven feet worth of ceiling height in here. See, it's Wi-Fi ready. Stepping into the bathroom area. Beautiful shower setup. Talk about residential. That's one thing that Columbus has always done really well. They put this incredibly residential size shower assembly, complete with fold down step. Nice fixture. You're gonna have a porcelain foot flush toilet, of course. And it's so weird walking around because you feel the cold air coming up from all of the floor vents. Such a different experience whenever you're walking around a unit. Let's take a wider view of the bathroom here so you can see this absolutely gorgeous bathroom. Twin mirrors, plenty of lighting. Look how deep this countertop area is right here. This feels like a luxury bathroom in a condo. I mean, it's just really, really nice. Nice basin sinks here, more drawers and cabinets. Behind the door, you even have some more storage areas. You have places for toiletries and towels and such. Just an absolutely gorgeous design. Okay, stepping out and into the bedroom area. Beautiful, beautiful bedroom. Just a whole different look to it than what you might be used to whenever you get into a fifth wheel. You have a place for a washer and dryer here at the end and your connections. Huge closet up front with sliding doors with mirrors on them. Storage above the closet as well. Columbus has always been very thoughtful in terms of designing their floor plans. King size bed, probably got about a foot on this side to get on the bed, maybe about 10 inches on this side to get on the bed, but you can, I guess, always access it through the bathroom. Have some really interesting storage solutions up here. You have some shelves up top. You have a nightstand on this side, but you don't have anything on this side. So I know the reason why they did this. They did this because if they move the bed any further over this way to provide you the shelves on this side, then it would be very difficult to get onto the bed. But I almost feel as if they should have maybe moved one of these shelves over here, just so whoever's on this side of the bed has a place to put their phone, tablet, whatever they plan on charging next to them as well. Maybe even extended something slightly off of the front. But that's really my only gripe with this space. It looks beautiful, it looks really nice. But again, it's just missing that. Or even moved the bed up just a hair and put a shelf across the back. Just something to accommodate people on both sides of the bed. Coming around this way, you can see you also get a second fireplace in the master bedroom, which is really awesome. You have a televator for the TV, and then you have tons of storage around the fireplace up front. Very, very nice. And you can see this is a very shallow slide. It looks to be about a 14 inch slide that pushes out so you get more room here at the foot of the bed. Overall though, this is gorgeous. Nice ceiling fan mounted above. It's so interesting not seeing any AC duct work in the top of a unit. But they've done so many things right with this unit. If you're gonna be this bold in your approach to designing something that's different and game-changing, I have to say that the folks at Columbus have done an exemplary job in terms of creating something that is so different than what most people expect. The entire design of this is so dramatically different than what you would normally see in a fifth wheel, and I have to compliment them for that. And real quick, one thing I wanted to show you guys is from the outside, you can see that the only thing really on top of this unit besides a couple of vent covers 
features is the wine guard antenna but yeah all the ACs have been removed and typically the ACs extend you know over a foot above as you can see on this cardinal right here and by moving them down you can see that the overall ceiling height profile is higher by a few inches than your typical fifth wheel so just a couple interesting things to note and you can also see the Columbus over here which has the AC units on top and you can see how they protrude higher than the actual wine guard antenna so by moving them to the basement it gives you that room that you're looking for inside to give you a little bit more ceiling height anyways guys I sure hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up we'll talk to you again very soon